to everyone. Hi, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be speaking about the things I do and don't like about living in Germany after more than five years of living here. Technically, it's been actually almost six years that I've lived here, but since I've taken like big periods, like big chunks of time where I've been in the States, like for a few months at a time, I'm saying it's more like five years when it all gets sort of rounded out in the end. But technically, I think I've been a resident in Germany for almost six years. So if you're curious to hear about the things that I do and don't like about living in Germany after being here for more than five years, keep watching. So I'm going to start out with the things that I do like about living in Germany. And the first thing that immediately comes to mind when I think about what I really love about Germany is how green it is. I love that when I look out my window, there's trees, there's grass, there's flowers, there's plants, there's just lots and lots of greenery. And that's super nice and really refreshing. I spent the second half of my childhood living in Oregon, and Oregon is super, super green. There's lots of trees, lots of hiking, lots of rivers, just nature is a really big deal there. And so I really love that when I get up in the morning and I look outside, I see greenery. Now, of course, if you live in a bigger city, it's a little bit different, but it's not difficult to leave the city and go outside of the city just a little ways, and you'll be surrounded by lots of trees and grass and rolling hills and all of that stuff. So. All in all, I feel like Germany is a pretty green country and I really like that about it. The next thing on my list is how safe Germany is. I really, really appreciate that I don't feel really any fear when I go out of my house, when I go to the grocery store, when I walk around in the city. Like, of course, as a woman, I always feel a little bit cautious if I'm out late at night by myself or if I'm in a city by myself. But generally speaking, I feel pretty safe here, you know, especially when we are comparing Germany to the United States. And the United States, especially right now, is just such a scary and violent place with, with just so much hatred and just a lot of fear. Like even if you're a child going to school or a parent going to the grocery store, you w might have a little bit of fear about going to those places because there's been so much random acts of violence there. And I don't feel that way when I'm in Germany. I feel relatively safe here, which is really nice. Okay, next up on my list of things I like about Germany is bakeries. If you don't already know this about Germany, they love bakeries, they love bread and baked goods. It's a really, really big deal here. I really like the culture around going to the bakery. Like if you go to the bakery in the morning, you'll see a big line outside of the bakery usually because everyone gets up in the morning and goes to buy fresh bread, especially on the weekends. And I really, really like that. I think it's really sweet and the bread is very, very tasty. So. If you're ever in Germany, definitely go to a German bakery and just ask for what the person behind the counter thinks that you should buy. They'll probably give you a good recommendation. And the next thing up on my list for things that I like about Germany is that it's a very livable country. Like people can actually work a normal job, even a minimum wage job, and make enough money to live here and not be constantly struggling. Now, of course, it's gonna vary depending on which city you live in. For example, if you wanna live in Berlin, rent is gonna be way, way, way higher. And I think it's even really difficult to get an apartment there. But if you're willing to live in a, a smaller city or just not as popular of a city, you're definitely gonna be able to pay rent with the jobs that you can get in Germany. And on top of that, the government, like the Arbeitsamt, actually tries to help you find work and find a way to be a part of the society here. And I find that to be very, very cool. And this actually leads me into my next point, which is that there isn't a lot of homelessness in Germany. Now, of course, if you're going to be in a bigger city, you're definitely going to see homeless people. Or perhaps if you're at the train station, you might see some homeless people. But generally speaking, the number of homelessness here is really, really low, especially when compared to the United States. I remember when I first took my husband and also when I took one of my best friends to the United States for the first time. And they were both really, really shocked by how many homeless people there were, especially in bigger cities, places like Los Angeles and San Francisco, a lot of homelessness. That's just something that you don't see to this extreme in Germany, because like I said before, Germany really does try to make sure that everyone has a way to make money and like a place in society. Okay, so now for the cons about living in Germany. Well, I guess I would just start out with the fact that I've lived here for almost six years, which means almost six years without being able to see my family and friends whenever I want to. That's really, really hard. I think that anyone who's lived 
away from their family, away from their sort of original home for as long as that can understand how it's extremely difficult to not be able to feel as connected with the people that you love. And I've really struggled with that. You know, I can't just pick up the phone and call my mom or my sisters or my dad whenever I want to because of the time difference. And while that may seem like a sort of small and insignificant thing, for me, it's a pretty big deal. So that's definitely a really hard thing. Although it's not Germany's fault. I just miss my family. Next up on my list of cons about living in Germany is that integration is really, really hard here. It's super, super hard to integrate into this society. I think that Germans are a little bit closed off. Like it can be kind of hard to get to know people and that plays a really big role in integration. I've lived here for almost six years and the majority of people that I have created friendships with have all been from other countries, like they were other expats. Not all of them, of course, I've made friends with some German people, obviously a few, but generally speaking, the majority of people I felt like I really connected well with were other expats. And I think that just has to do with the fact that it's like we have shared experiences. And I also think it has to do with the fact that Germans can be difficult to get to know. They're not the most open people, whereas I'm like, I would even say that I'm an overshare. I have kind of a big mouth. Like I often say things that I shouldn't say when you're just meeting someone. And I think that's difficult for Germans. They're very like cautious about who they give their, their time and attention to, if that makes sense. And that's not a bad thing at all. It's just meant that integration has been quite difficult. I would also add here that I've spoken to a lot of expats and immigrants about their experiences coming to Germany and trying to integrate here. And most of them had said that they also really struggled with this. And the ones who said they didn't struggle with it were all students. They were all living in like student housing, like dormitory kind of housing or vagues with other students. And so they were kind of forced to integrate and were forced to have those friendships around them. And I think it makes a really big difference. Next up on my list, I have the fact that there is no Mexican food here, or at least no good authentic Mexican food here. Now this is of course like a little bit silly, but it really is kind of a big deal to me because I was born in Los Angeles and I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food. That was a really big part of my childhood. And I just find it really sad that it's so difficult to get Mexican food here. Of course, I understand why, because this culture isn't super present in Germany, which makes perfect sense, but it's still kind of hard and I find it a little bit disappointing. Also, if I want to buy Mexican food, like the products here, like if I wanna buy tortillas, for example, the tortilla package will always have like a relatively racist picture of a little Mexican guy with a sombrero on it or whatever. And I'm just feeling like, wow, like it's just very cultural appropriation. Like, I don't know, it's just not the best. So there's no Mexican food here. And if I do have the opportunity to find some Mexican food here, it's usually um, not in good taste. Next up on my list for cons about living in Germany is that there is no air conditioning here. You might not think about Germany as being a place that gets really hot, but wow, the summer can get really, really, really hot here. We have temperatures of like high 90s during the summer here, and it is boiling, it is so hot. And I just find it totally ridiculous that there's no air conditioning, because I guess Germany's not thought of as a very warm place, or it's just not warm for very many months of the year. So people just didn't think it was necessary to have air conditioning here, but wow, like, our apartment that we live in right now, it has a sort of like attic, like a slanted roof for the bedroom. And it is like a million degrees and there's no air conditioning. It's just horrible. And I just don't understand how Germans can go for so many years just suffering in, the, in these like extreme temperatures. So anyway, there's no air conditioning in Germany, just so you know. And then on my cons about Germany, I also have that the internet sucks. The internet is really, really bad here. The Wi-Fi is bad, the data is bad. There's so many times where I'm out walking and I take out my phone and I'll just have no service. Like it's like a bubble for like, a, like I don't know, a few meters where there's just no service. It's just really, really weird. The Wi-Fi is also problematic. We've had so many times where the Wi-Fi just completely dies and we have no idea why. It's like has nothing to do with our little router box or whatever, it's just really bad Wi-Fi, like the connection's just terrible. And this has happened in almost every single apartment that we've ever lived in in Germany over the past six years. So the internet is not great here. And I think the reason is because Germany, like they just choose to not spend money on good internet connection. It's just not one of the things that money tends to go to. 
That's as far as my understanding goes at least, but correct me if I'm wrong. All right, everyone, that is all of the things I have on my pros and cons list about Germany. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on some of the things that I talked about today. So yeah, just comment below and let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button so I know you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Yeah, that's it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.